Hello and welcome back to Cooking with Chef Dama. Today we're going to be making America's favorite food, the hamburger. A slight variation though. It's going to be sliders which are mini hamburgers and I'm going to give it an Indian twist and make burgers the way my mother taught me how to. Full of flavor and a little bit of spice. So today it's going to be sliders with a topping of caramelized onions and a side of oven baked fries. So without any further ado, let's cook! We're going to be making french fries today, but instead of deep frying them, I'm going to oven bake them and they're going to be super crispy. So I take my potato and I cut it in half. And then just the veggies. Now while I am preparing these potatoes, I have also got my oven heating up to 450 degrees. I'm going to spread these potatoes on a sheet pan, but I am waiting for that sheet pan to get as hot as the oven. Because when it goes on, it's going to go on a hot sheet pan, and that is going to guarantee crisp potatoes. These are going to be so good. Mm, mm, mm. Chopped potatoes are going back in the bowl, to which I'm going to add a generous pinch of salt, and I am going to top it off with some oil. Just going to make sure that I coat all the pieces of potato with oil and we are soon ready to put them in the oven. The oven is ready at 450. I'm going to pull out the cookie sheet on which I'm going to make the fries. There you go. All right, there you go boys. We'll see you in 20 minutes. The next step now is to do the onions. I've got two fairly large onions over here which I am going to slice rather finely. This reminds me of that song by the Rolling Stones. Uh, you make a grown man cry. That's what onions do to me. You can see there's quite a lot of onions in here. But let it fry for about 10 minutes and you'll see this come down to almost about half if not a third of its size. One and a half pound of good ground chuck. I've made sure that I've got an 80-20 ratio. It's 80% meat to 20% fat. It's important to have a high fat ratio because that's what's gonna make the burgers really juicy. So here are my flavor enhancers. A teaspoon of finely chopped green chilies, a teaspoon of finely grated ginger, and about an eighth of a bunch of cilantro finely chopped. A teaspoon of cumin powder. A teaspoon of paprika and a teaspoon of garam masala powder. Good sprinkling of kosher salt. And a few very good turns of cracked pepper. And the juice of half a lime. Now we're gonna add the texture enhancers. Half a cup of breadcrumbs, and one egg. You don't wanna overwork the mixture, you just wanna gently fold in the ingredients. The breadcrumbs are going to be added in two stages. Half in the burger, and the other half I'm actually going to dredge around it with whole frying. So that way, all the juices that are about to escape will be absorbed by the breadcrumbs, making this a very, very juicy slider. Perfect! Yes! Wow, look at the onions. They've caramelized down perfectly. Oh, it's time to look at our potatoes. Wait. Oh, wow, will you take a look at those potatoes? Don't these fries look fantastic? Wow, looks like they just came right out of the fryer, but these were actually oven baked. Want a little extra spice on your fries? Sprinkle a little bit of chaat masala. I told you about chaat masala in my previous videos. They have a nice citrusy flavor very tart and they go really well with the fries giving a little extra edge so yes a little sprinkling is going to do the trick mm. just perfect mm -mm. next up i'm going to be making a sauce to go with the sliders and i'm going to be making what i like to call my angry mayonnaise a combination of roasted garlic roasted rosemary and one habanero pepper. For those who don't know what a habanero pepper is, it is a mighty hot 
pepper. If you think a jalapeno is hot, do not try a habanero. This is about 50,000 times hotter. It'll make you cry. I like making mayonnaise at home. You can get store-bought mayonnaise. It works just as fine. But I'm going to show you how to make mayonnaise. It's really, really simple. All you need is a food processor in which I'm going to break one egg. I'm going to add a pinch of kosher salt, a little bit of white pepper, and a sprinkle of mustard, about a tablespoon of cider vinegar. I want it all to mix up real well. I've got here a cup of oil that I'm going to add in very slowly. The secret behind it is to go very slow when pouring in the oil. That is very essential. If you put it all at once, the egg is not going to be able to absorb it and you're going to get this one blotchy mess which you don't want to deal with. Make sure that that's incorporated before adding a little more. There you go, look at that, it coats my finger beautifully. It's all incorporated and I'm sure it's really tasty. Mm, 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 mm. Look at how perfect this is. Delicious, smooth, and creamy. You remember the garlic, the habanera, and the rosemary that was roasting slowly on the pan? Now that's going to go right into the food processor. Wow. Woo. This sauce is not for the faint hearted. Let me tell you right now. There's only one thing that can cure the burn like that. You got it. And now I'm gonna get started with making the patties. So this is approximately a two ounce piece. I'm gonna load it up into a little little ball. You want to handle it as lightly as possible. You don't want to overwork the meat because that's what makes it really tough. I've got here some breadcrumbs which is going into this plate. Take the first patty, drop it in the crumb, grab it on the other side, make sure that each side is coated on the sheet it goes. Just look beautiful. Now while the burgers are cooking, I'm gonna stop with toasting the bread. And now the moment of truth has arrived. The moment where we put that burger together and then we start to eat. Mm -mm -mm. So we take the bread, Good slather of mayonnaise, burger, dollop of caramelized onion, a slice of tomato, a few arugula leaves. I love the arugula because it has such a distinctive spicy flavor that goes perfectly with this. And the cap. And there you have it. The perfect sliders with an Indian twist. On the side, some masala fries and a delicious angry mayonnaise to give it that extra bite. There's only one thing to say now, and that is, happy eating!